all right guys happy new year hopefully we all have a fantastic 2021 2020 was absolute garbage so that's why i thought you know for my first video of 2021 i'm gonna make everyone's day and that is by using the ultimate waifu lilia evil lilia that is now look i'm not a simp but i recognize class when I see it, right, and uh, Lilia is just a uh, sugoi. I mean, look at her, bro. It's basically um, normal Lilia, but with much bigger breasts and uh, white and pink hair. That just makes her look ten times uh, more beautiful. Uh, this outfit is also uh, amazing. You know, she's got the... Um, I don't know what the heck you call them. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what you call them, man. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a simp to know what these leggings thingies are called, but they look very hot. So, yeah, Lilia, of course... Wait, do we... Is that is that some? Can we can we can we see some some knickers maybe? Oh, we see just a little bit of knickers. Okay, all right, it's fine. Uh, what we're gonna use uh, today is going to be the king team with Lilia. Now, before we begin, do leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel if you are new. Uh, also, I do want to quickly say thank you guys so much for getting me to thirteen thousand subscribers. We reached 13,000 before 2021 and I am ever so grateful. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and continuing to support my channel. But yeah, this is what we'll be using. Lilia is very, very good in the King Team. And by the way, the King Team in general, even though everyone's telling you to skip it and stuff, King Team is going to get you a lot of free wins. King Team is going to get you a ton of free wins because it counters the team that everyone's using right now. The Goddess Liz, Lost Fame, Meliodas team. It counters that team so easily. Now, uh, Lilia, this passive is amazing. It's very, very good. Apply Corrosion on enemies with three orbs or less uh, for two turns. Uh, the Corrosion itself does 10%, uh, uh, you know, 10% uh, regarding on how much uh, HP they have. Not as good as uh, Demon Meliodas' Corrosion, which does 15% at level 1, but it's still good enough. It's free damage, you know, free 10% damage every turn for literally no reason. If they get their ultimate, decrease their attack by 10% happy days a little bit less attack we don't mind her skills although they are good skills the damage is absolutely terrible and I can't tell you why I I, I just don't understand why her damage is so bad her ultimate is um it's good you know 525 remove buffs so very good if they have like Liz ult shield or something like that but uh, yeah I did uh, actually spend on the banner even though I said to you guys I wasn't gonna do it we did get a 6-6 king uh, we pulled one Lilia, but I maxed her out uh, with uh, festival coins because I had 10 festival coins and we did get a 3-6 uh, Demon Hendrickson. So yeah, the, the main reason why I invested in this team is just because I want to get free wins. Honestly, guys, I would like the King team right now. No one's using it. No one's expecting it. And you're just going to get so many free wins. The only way you like you like lose is if someone's running blue Gotha, uh, you insta lose the blue Gotha. There's nothing you can do about it. But uh, no one runs Blue Gotha, so I think it'll be A-OK. -okay. Uh, first opponent, very nice. Ooh, they're, they're, that's some decent CC. Let me fix my camera. But yeah, King Team is just a very, uh, uh, very oppressive, you know. Uh, if they have two or more uh, debuffs of the following, Shock, Corrosion, or Poison, then they lose one gauge at the start of every turn. And they also cannot cleanse. So uh, good luck to King trying to cleanse this. And then of course we have uh, Lilia's Corrosion debuff on there as well. Uh, when they end their turn, they're going to take a lot of damage from uh, all of these debuffs. They're going to take a lot of damage. And it's even better in geared PvP right now. In geared PvP, the damage they take is insane. Literally, you do like 50% of everyone's HP just by using weak debuff cards. So yeah, King team right now. Uh... If you can go first, because that's the big problem with the team, you have to go first. If you can go for oh my, did you guys see that? Did you did you guys see that damage, bro? If you can go first with the king team, you are most likely gonna win the game. Uh, if I'm being honest, because there's just no way they stop with there. Like if you can get that first round of just like debuffs, like if you can get that first turn of just using all three of your debuffs, you're probably gonna win, man. You are probably gonna win. Uh, this opponent doesn't know what King does, so he used this cleanse. You can still heal, but you can't cleanse, so there's no getting rid of the debuffs, right? You just have to take it on the chin. Uh, the opponent is going to uh, probably kill Hendrickson. Oh. Kekwait. 
Alright, Hendrickson's dead, but no worries, that's fine. Uh, we do have uh, King attack skills in our hand, and there we go, Los uh, King bites the dust. I said Lost Vein for whatever reason. King bites the dust, now we can... Um, we can uh, end Lost Vein Meliodas, or at least I hope, with the release. What release does is basically all the damage from the debuffs that they haven't taken yet, uh, they're going to take it, right, if that makes sense. So King releases all of that damage into this one attack, and uh, it does a lot. It's not that great in Ungeared, but in Geared, it, re it, really, uh, it really is powerful. But yeah, uh, the boy Gotha is going to die next turn. He is... Uh, Definitely gonna die. Actually, he has poison, he has shock, he has corrosion, and yeah, he's probably gonna die next turn. So, uh, happy days. He's gonna attack Silas before he goes, just to ruin our day, I guess. And he actually does not die, okay. Uh, that is a tad disappointing, but nonetheless, we do get Lilia and King Ultimate, which is a GG Nori. So yeah, this team, uh, very oppressive, you know. There's really not that many counters to it, you just have to go first. If you don't go first and you face it, you're probably going to lose. You know, if you go first and you have Goddess Liz, you can put up Goddess Liz's shield to protect you from the debuffs because they are, like, they don't deal much damage. They're really weak. But, you know, I don't know, man. It's uh, pretty difficult. Right now, uh, on Global, King does have the highest CC in the game. And while the team doesn't have any Fate Links, Lilia, Red Lilia, also has really good CC and uh, Demon Hendrickson CC. Low key kind of sucks a little bit. It's not the greatest CC, but nonetheless, it's a decent CC team. You see right here, we're 155. Uh, that's uh, that's good. That's really good. You know, it would be better if we were higher. Like uh, I, I have some teams, like actual, like really good, powerful teams that hit 160k and stuff. So 155 is pretty low if we're talking whale teams. But nonetheless, we should be okay. We should be okay. Uh, this game is uh, oh he's oh he alt rushing, <laughs> he he's alt rushing, uh, feels bad, feels bad man. We are gonna deal with this opponent. Uh, can we not crit Lost Vein please? We crit him, King please please. Ah, <sighs> uh, well, uh, goodbye Demon Hendrickson. Uh, that's that's not great. Three LV cards top decked. Yikes. That is a yikes. Now, if it was like, if Demon Hendrickson was able to survive, which he won't, Lilia's card uh, restores the HP of all allies by 30% of the damage dealt. So, like, you don't have a healer on the team, but you have a healer on the team, if that makes sense. So, uh, yeah. And uh, at level 1, it will heal the ally with lowest HP by 80%. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. We're we're gonna target King here, and then we're gonna target King again, and then we're gonna attack Goddess Liz. That's what we're gonna do. I'm not worried about Lost Fate Ultimate because he's gonna lose a gauge because of um because of um what you call it King's passive, and uh, yeah, you see there we healed up uh, quite a good amount. And as long as he doesn't have a level 2 heal with King, I think we're, we're going to be okay. I'm not worried about the, the shield. I am worried about the stun. A stun would be pretty annoying, but the shield I'm not too worried about. He's going to stun my Lilia. Uh, sure thing, I guess. And then put up a shield. The debuffs should eat away the shield. Which they do. Fantastic stuff. Okay, now we can use this. That should uh, kill King. Or just take off his revive, and then we do this, and uh, we do that, and that should be that should be enough to see us win. Okay, thank God. <laughs> okay, good stuff. And then uh, take care of King, and now Lost Vein is left on his own. Not much he can do. He has two debuffs. Not three. If he has three, then he loses the gauge. He only has two because uh, our Hendrickson was killed, and. Uh, what else? Uh, Hendrickson gives us bleed. That's what we're missing. We're missing bleed. But like I said, it's fine. We're, we're, we're still going to win. We are still going to win the game. Let's see. Alright, let's just uh, go all in on Meliodas here. 
And uh, yeah, obviously it's not like the fastest clearing team. Like you're not gonna be like you know killing people in two three turns, but it's a very powerful control team. And uh, King, can you crit? Okay, that was uh, a bit disappointing. To be fair, my King does not have his cosmetics upgraded, which is why he's probably not doing as much damage. So you know, missing 150 attack definitely uh, makes a difference, especially in ungeared. That's where ungeared, uh, you know, that's where you know the whales are separated from like the free to plays because your cosmetic stats in ungeared matter a lot. They really do because they make such a big difference. And thanks to Goddess Liz, our Lilia survives, so we are just gonna fire off her ultimate and see how it does. Because it's literally it, the ultimate really isn't great. It's just 525% uh, percent attack AOE. And, uh, you know, it's, it's decent, it's decent. I mean, 41k at 6'6 six, six to a type disadvantage unit. That's not great at all, but it's fine. It's A-OK. -okay. And uh, King's ultimate is uh, actually broken. It really is. Because, I don't know if you guys have seen Abyss, but it pretty much says, uh, use this ultimate and everyone on the field will die next turn. That's pretty much what Abyss says. Uh, it's really, really powerful. And uh, another thing that Abyss does is it reduces the damage that King takes by 50% for the next two turns so uh, after King uses his ultimate he's incredibly difficult to kill like good luck killing someone when they're taking 50% less damage that's kills passive on like 50,000 stacks uh, that's legit like it's literally kills passive with 10 stacks which is impossible to get unless you're using another unit who has ignite so uh, yeah that should tell you just how good uh, the combo is and uh, obviously this is the team that we're just going to always just win against unless they get incredibly lucky like that where they get three Lost Vein Meliodas cards turn one. Uh, that is tough luck. That is tough luck indeed. And uh, we didn't exactly draw too well either, man. That was actually pretty bad. That was actually pretty bad. Uh, obviously one thing you never have to worry about with this team is Goddess Liz's shield. Your debuff just eat it away, man. And uh, Lilia's Corrosion really does help out with that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take a fat chunk. We are going to take a fat chunk, but we should be able to lifesteal. We should be able to lifesteal pretty well here if we do this. Uh, Demon Hendrickson should heal back to pretty much full HP, I would hope. Nice, King released all of that power. And yeah, Hendrickson is good to go. He can take another hit. Not two hits, but he'll, he'll take another hit. Uh... Go for ultimate, uh, there's not much I can do about that. Actually, no, I got Lilia gauge removal card. So yeah, I forgot to say, Lilia's uh, second skill does literally no damage at all, but at least it reduces gauge, so there's some utility for that. Um, is there any chance I can kill that Gotha? I sincerely hope I can. But yeah, like I said, Lilia like, really does no damage, and I just can't understand why, man. I literally cannot understand for the life of me why she does no damage. Which sucks because if she actually did decent damage, she would be very powerful. That's the one bad thing about her. Everything about her is good. She has a good kit. She has a very good passive. The ultimate's a bit meh. She has really good stats. She has really good sub stats. Her damage is just poo poo. So, uh, yeah, unfortunate, but we should be able to win from this position. Uh, we. We. I think we just do this. Hold up. What are we missing? We're missing bleed. Oops, nope. We're missing bleed. We're missing poison. And then we kill Lost Vein. Yeah, I'm not, uh, you know, like a super specialist on the King team because I wasn't playing JP when the King team was a thing. And uh, we did not kill Gotha, but we do uh, one hit Meliodas there. Yeah, that's uh, that's okay. That's that's fine. We're we're not we're not in trouble or anything. We're still gonna win. But uh, yeah, honestly, man, if Lilia did more damage, she I would actually use her in other teams. Like she's a really good control unit. Very difficult to deal with. You know, you can't really just like one shot her with Lost Vein or something like that. Like you really you you do have to go out of your way to kill her. Just because like she has like insane life steal cards and stuff. Um. Uh, Alright, let's see this. What's this? 400%. Uh, 
I mean, if you get that level 3 uh, single target, bro, that is pretty much a full heal for your team. Uh, if I'm being honest, that is uh, very powerful. Very powerful. Alright, maybe not full heal. Maybe I exaggerate that just a little bit, but it's a, it's a good heal. It's a good heal. It's a good heal. But yeah, like I said, the only reason why I'm using the King team right now is just because... Uh, I'm just gonna get three wins, you know, I, I really am, unless I go second to a very powerful team that can like one turn my Demon Hendrickson, uh, I'm gonna win. If Demon Hendrickson dies, like turn one, like if he dies before we get the three debuffs on the opponent, where we're gonna lose, like the, we literally have absolutely no chance of winning the game if our Demon Hendrickson dies before we can get all three of the debuffs on the opponent, because the debuffs last for two turns. So that gives us two turns of free ult control, like that's just insurance that we get, and also we do just get like a some uh, free chip damage, so yeah. But like I said, it's definitely, uh, you know, I don't know man, because Speedy said it was the best team in the game, and I disagreed because I was like, it's just so easy to deal with, but at the same time, honestly, if we're just talking about pure team, it probably is the best team in the game. And uh, what on earth is this? We get a full commandment opponent who has... Derry Yeri Commandment? Well, that's terrible. Our debuffs are going to do no damage. Yikes. 24k. 21k. I mean, it's not too bad, but yikes, bro. They do no damage. That sucks. Uh, it's okay, though. It's okay. We're just going to have to grind this one out, sadly. Ugh. Grinding out games. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, but yeah, King is a control team, you know, it's literally built to counter Goddess Liz, and you can't just like, you know, you can't bum rush Goddess Liz teams. Uh, yo, the debuff damage showing itself though. I'm just going to use the AoEs because why not? Just get as much damage on these guys as possible. Yikes, 6k to Zeldris, bro, that is so bad. That is so bad. <laughs> Go on, make targets bleed for two turns. That's the Rosa. If you taunt, I'm going to be upset. He's going to taunt, isn't he? Why must you make my life so difficult? Why must you make my life so difficult? Oh, uh, yeah. Also, I did forget to say, Esther Rosa Loki is uh, somewhat of a reliable counter to King. But uh, not to us if we have Lilio who's just going to who's just gonna kill him. So uh, <laughs> that'll be A-OK. -okay. He lost by 40%. Of the damage you deal, thank you very much. See, 15k heal, that's not bad, man. 15k heal, that's not too bad. And then Droll comes in, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> alright, man, alright. Zell, just don't use any skills, I want you to die from the debuffs. But yeah, the good, th like I said, the good thing about Lilia is literally just having her on the field, you get free damage for nothing. Like, you literally nothing. Like, it's very good. Her corrosion will break Liz's shield by herself, and that is just very nice uh, insurance to have, honestly. It really is. Oh, perfect. We drew the debuff combo. That way, that's going to help us take out Droll faster, because I can't be asked to deal with Droll. Also, Demon Hendrickson low-key doing some decent damage to the boy Droll right there. Well, with that first attack. And uh, Derriere will die next turn, unless she hits me with like a level 3 or some crap like that. Please die. I'm so sick of you, Derriere. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, at least she didn't attack. Please die. Uh, she just refuses to die. Alright, but never never mind that. King, I'll give you the honors. Please uh, one-tap this draw for me. Oh my god, I completely forgot Derry. I should have used the uh, Lilia Ultima. I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. This game is going to be one turn longer than it had to be. God damn it, man. But, um, yeah, anyway, guys, that will be it for today's video. I don't think there's any need to, uh, you know, continue this, so we're, we're going to win. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I hope you have a fantastic New Year's Day. I hope, uh, you know, you go into uh, 2021 with the best mindset. You know, not like I'm some kind of um, philanthropist or, like, therapist, but basically, I hope you have a fantastic year. Thank you very much for watching my video. Do leave a like on it. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Turn on your notification bell. Become a member of the channel if you are feeling generous. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.